What's up, guys? So this is the Lucas we were talking about before. Um, you can see the bedways are perfectly ground. They still got the Daikin Blue on it because we did have to do a rub to make sure everything fit. I think the last video we were showing you scraping in the master, which was on this side, and then we were gluing the Turkite on the, uh, the Gib side. Um, so then that way we have 100% contact. So over here is the finished product of the Gibbs. They're all Turkite. We already scraped them all in a little bit. Um, they don't have any more Tycoon because he cleaned it all up, but this is a completed part of it. Um, below it is actually the binders, which secures the table to the bottom of this surface right over here, which would be this surface and this surface. So that way it's got great clamping uh, on that. You can see in here, it's all got really good rubs. You can see the contact surface on these things. Nice finish with the grinder too, of course. Uh, but the big thing is I want to show you guys the table on this one. So I didn't really go into detail too much uh, about how we did it, but it's just like anything else. So when we first got this machine, we ground the top of the table. Um, actually, we ground the saddle, I'm sorry. But we flipped the table, we ground the bottom binders because these were all trued up. And then we were able to flip it over, grind the top of the table, and then flip it back over and grind the surface again. The way we were able to cheat it a little bit is we actually ground the surface that fits in the Turkite where it glues to. So then that way we were able to cheat it in the sense of getting our heights perfectly matched up. It's not fun to measure the ball screw bracket. You're looking at your Turkite, which is you know, 32 thousandths, 45 thousandths, 60 thousandths, and say, oh, I gotta cut out 10, 15 thousandths. Well, over that amount of distance, it takes some time. And the other thing that people don't realize is that when you're scraping, you got two walls on each side. It's a pain in the ass. So what we do is we measure everything. We got to, you know, compensate for the three, four thousandths of glue thickness, and we'll get this thing pretty damn close. Now, because we did that, if you look at the surface, the bluing makes perfect contact. And if you come over to the other side and point the camera from this direction, you're going to see where we scraped in the master on this surface to make good contact. Now what we didn't finish on this bedway is you got to cut out the center sections. You can see we cut out the center section for the master because I want to be sitting four points zero. So we cut it out a little bit, not a terrible amount, but we do have to cut it out. And we're probably going to do so the same thing on the flats as well. Uh, you can see we're just cooling out the holes. And we're going to be adding all of our lubrication system to this machine. Um, the other thing that you could notice, and it definitely didn't look like that before, but we actually ground the surface of where this nut housing matches up. Using gel box makes this job so much easier. And then also having a perfectly true machine, which is our weight grinder, to measure everything to make sure we get our heights all right. So there's no play at that. You always want to be a little bit minus on here so we can add a thou or two a shim. Because the last thing you want to do is set the machine on the saddle and this surface right here is pushing on the ball screw. It is a terrible no-no. Anytime you travel the machine from left to right closest to that fixed housing, um, it's going to load up the ball screw because of the dipping. So we made sure that to, to make sure that was all taken care of. You could actually see some of the Daikin Blue that we had where you did a little rub on it. Just to say that it was making contact without flexing the, uh, the ball screw. So I'll send you guys some more videos. The next thing we're going to be doing after this is completed is we're going to take the column, bring it upstairs, and we're going to put the headstock on it. And we're going to scrape in the master. By doing that, we're going to sweep the spindle to the, the, each side of the master of the column to make sure it's perfectly square to confirm that we don't have any shingles when we're cutting. We don't want that spindle hanging down, per se, and then your cutter, when you get a 6 or 10 inch cutter, one side's digging the part, the other one's minus away from the part. So we'll get you that video next, um, but stay tuned for more. Thank you.